Having trouble with your front shoves? Well, today I'm gonna to tell you why you can't front shove and basically all the common mistakes that usually happen with them and how to fix them. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm gonna go over all the solutions for that. So usually the first common mistake that I see that a lot of people do with the front shove is they have the wrong foot position. So usually they put their foot like an ollie where most of their toe is actually on the board. So you know like ollie, you know, you put most of your toe on the board so you can slide the side of your foot. You don't want it to be like that because if you try to front shove while you're, you know, too much of your toes on the board and not even your heels on the board, it's gonna, it's gonna be hard to keep track of it, right? So one thing you can do to actually make this a little bit easier is I say like the perfect way is like, think of it as like putting your foot on but a little bit of your toe is going to be hanging off and a little bit of your heel is going to be hanging off. So pretty much, you know, just from a normal ollie position, you just want to scoot your heel up a little more so it actually sits on the board. And basically what this is going to do, it's going to allow you to kind of like hover your foot over the board more, like to have your front foot guide it. And usually it's like a little bit easier to lift up and actually go a little bit backwards than having your toe on the board like an ollie. So with your back foot, make sure you actually put it in the back pocket. Don't put it in the pocket where you'd go for a regular shove it. Go for a front shove it, so like in the back pocket here so you can actually scoop it from the very back of the tail forward. Because if you scooped it from this side, you're really not gonna have much to work with. And also make sure when you're in your foot position, have your toe pointed downwards, right? So like the thing is, you wanna be actually put pressure down because if you lay your foot flat, you're not gonna be able to scoop it. You're not scooping with your heel. You're actually scooping with your toe this way. Thank you. <laughs> so pretty much, like I said before, have your front foot, you know, a little bit of your toe hanging off, a little bit of your heel hanging off, your back foot in the back pocket, and then you're just gonna do it like that. And obviously I'm gonna go over how to do that, but basically that's the best foot position to have for the front show. So just so you can see a little bit better, you know, put your front foot up this way, right? But scoot it a little more than this. You wanna have actually your heel sitting on the back of the board just a little bit. Don't have your toes just on it like this, actually scoot it up like this back foot in the back pocket right so you make sure you can actually scoop the board so pretty much your foot position should look like this something similar so honestly for the front shove one of the most common ones is the board flies super far backwards where it goes like this right and you're like how am i gonna land the board if it's just going all the way back there <laughs> so there's kind of two ways to fix this right you're gonna need to use actually like two things first make sure you're not scooping with your back foot like just forward like see how i'm facing the camera i'm just scooping it forward you're actually gonna scoop it diagonally forward right you're going to scoop it basically like this way and forward so only way between those is diagonally forward like that right and the thing that, that that's going to help with is it's going to help it from not jumping backwards right where it goes behind you it's actually going to scoop it in front of you so you can land it and the thing is also going to do is when you're scooping it that way it's keeping it more vertical so it can stay under you versus if you scoop it this way you're really just pushing it away from you so basically make sure you actually scoop it diagonally forward so it can stay under you as well as pushing it forward when you're rolling with it. And I definitely recommend trying this trick while rolling because doing it stationary will actually be a little bit difficult. It's easier while you're rolling so you can actually scoop it forward and keep it under you. Especially if you're going to be trying this downstairs test in the future, you need to try this while moving. So that was the way to kind of fix that air if it's flying behind you with scooping. The other way is like you really have to make sure you're not leaning over your toes while doing this trick because if I'm leaning over my toes, see, and I scoop it, it's still gonna go behind me, right? Even if I do the correct uh, scoop. So what you wanna do, keep in mind that same diagonal scoop. That's so crucial to this trick. If you remember one thing in this video, just remember the diagonal scoop, okay? So still diagonally scoot forward, but this time when you're leaning, really try to stand straight up if possible. The only way like people still tend to lean over their toes, the only way to fix that is if you lean behind your heels so it's gonna be really uncomfortable it's definitely not gonna be easy over time but really just like sit back on your heels and think of it as like you're sitting behind the board and you should be able to feel your board in front of you right and basically you can either jump back slightly or just jump straight up usually the leaning back and jumping straight up should help you so you see if I lean back here See, I actually almost jumped behind the board, which is actually better than having it go in front of me. So really just make sure you actually lean behind your heels. And by, I mean that like lean this way, don't lean near the tail. Lean almost like you're falling backwards, right? So it's gonna be really uncomfortable. Just really try to sit behind the board so you can actually feel the board in front of you and do that same diagonal scoop motion so you can stay over it more instead of like scooping it back like this. So like I said, that one's gonna be really tough because it's really uncomfortable, but over time you shouldn't have to like be 
like lean back as much is just to kind of get rid of the habit of leaning over your toes. Just really make sure you stand straight up and lean backwards if you want to. So lastly, like this is not really super common. I just see it sometimes that people think that, you know, trying to use their shoulders in this trick is gonna help. They're thinking like, oh, you know, if I whip my shoulders around, you know, it should be help me do a front shove. <laughs> so you actually don't want to do that because mainly what's gonna do, it's gonna make the board shove even more, but almost like a big spin. It's not really gonna help you land the trick overall. You wanna actually make sure you're only using your back foot really much just to do the scooping motion. Their front foot is literally just to guide it. You also should not have to scissor kick where you know like one foot goes forward, one foot goes back like that. Your front foot is literally just guiding the board. It's just hovering over it. So use your front foot to kind of guide it while you're scooping it. Like you see, I barely moved my front foot in that. I'll show you again. Like if you look close to my front foot, it's really not doing anything besides jumping up and guiding it. You see? So really just make sure you don't use your shoulders in this. Just really make sure you get your toe in that back pocket and make sure you actually have room to scoop it diagonally for it. So really just make sure if you're not getting enough scoop, put it more in the back pocket so you have more power to scoop it. And then lastly, pretty much just like any other pop shove it trick, uh, like I mentioned in my other pop shove it video, make sure you try to land with your feet wide. So pretty much like it's all mental to do this. Just really try to hold your feet stiff in a wide position. Don't have your feet like really close to each other. Make sure they're actually really wide and hold that wide position. So when you land, when you land wide, you're more stable. If you land with your feet together, you're more likely to slip and that's why it's scary. But if you land with your feet wide, you're gonna have so much more stability, you're most likely not gonna slip. So really just make sure, you know, hold your legs stiff in a wide position. And then when you do the, all the tips I said before, just make sure you try to land wide too. And that should make it a lot more stable. So that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for why you can't front shove it. The main tips really is just making sure you lean backwards, doing the diagonal scoop and your foot position. Don't let your toes be on it more and kind of scoot your heel up on the board more and let those toes hang off. Otherwise than that, if you have any more questions or if you had, like there wasn't an error that was covering the video, feel free to DM me on Instagram, it's Brown 99 I do a lot of kind of like skate supports on there and you know, I do get a lot, but if you submit it, I will get to it. So if you really want extra help, just make sure you submit one there. Just be patient when you send it, and I'll definitely get to it. It's just going to take some time since I actually have a lot of people trying to get it. Otherwise than that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.